All right, you guys, I had a solid day. I didn't hit my full profit target, but I decided to go ahead and stop trading and take the green day where it was. We had some friends in town, and so I didn't trade at the beginning of the week, and so I'm uh, still working my way back into feeling comfortable this week. So I'll take the green day. Um, my watch list, AMD, Twitter, Neo, and Pfizer here. My first trade was on, uh, I took a couple trades on Neo, and they, uh, they I didn't read it very well today. You'll see what I saw off the bat was bearish, action uh, followed by slightly weaker relative bullish volume here and it pulled back to this pre-market level i decided to go in well the reason this is a mistake is because of course you know for my trading if there's an important moving average or level that close to vwap always wait till vwap that's how i trade but in this case i broke my own rule here went short and then realized it was going to go to vwap and just got out and then you can see if I would have just waited till VWAP, could have got an amazing entry here and got, uh, you know, uh, an extra 13 cents of of price action here. But it, it hit VWAP, curled back down, uh, it got below that level again. I went ahead and took it short and said if it breaks through, if this level doesn't hold, I'll go ahead and get out. This level did hold. I got one partial, which you'll see right here, and then all out. So just one profitable so slightly profitable trade here but still overall between these two trades net negative then here um so that was my break even then i took it short again because i thought maybe it's going to come back down here and it didn't happen stopped out right there so overall neo was not a good ticker for me today i did not read it well uh, but usually uh, it trades pretty well um now twitter Oh no, in between I traded Pfizer here. So Pfizer, um, you see again, really weak, came up, got near VWAP, uh, ricocheted off that, started curling down. This is a textbook, uh, you know, textbook is in clear to see, but not necessarily the best one, but a nice bearish boot pattern, which is a pattern I love to play. So I went ahead and took it short here and uh, this is actually a, a hot key error. I meant to only partial out one time here, but I accidentally partialed out twice. And at the time I was pretty disappointed in that. Um, and then because I'd already partialed out so much of my position, I would have taken a partial down here, but because I'd already taken out so much, I didn't want to take another partial so soon. It curled back up on me all out at break even here. So this was a small winner, but nothing to write home about. And most of the action today for me was on Twitter. So if we look at Twitter here, it looks like a lot going on. This is actually only two trades, uh, but it does have a lot of tickets. So Twitter is one of those stocks where I've, be, as I've gotten better at reading its price action, I can trade it, but it still does make me nervous because as long as I've been day trading, Twitter is, has been a stock that can really bounce around. The price action can move really quick on you. Like right there, I don't know if you saw it, just dropped like 14 cents in an instant. And usually stocks that are in this price range don't move so erratically, but but Twitter does. So Twitter here, you see, uh, it was it, it hit this level, consolidated, bounced up off of it. I took it or as soon as it got above VWAP. Well, I saw I was actually watching it right about. Uh, I started watching it right around here, and I really wanted to get in close to VWAP. So when it pulled back, I got in pretty close to VWAP there with VWAP being. Um, I stop out. So if it, so if VWAP didn't hold, I was going to stop out. It did. I took a, again, this is another example. I was trying to take one partial, but I accidentally took two right at the top of this. So that was a little, a little frustrating for me. Uh, and then I took another partial here around 39 and then it broke through 39. And when it broke through, it broke through quickly, like from here to here happened, you know, in a second. So then I quickly uh, got a couple partials in real fast. Um, and then on this consolidation here, it looked good for an ad. So I actually added, but unfortunately I didn't do the math well and it brought my break even point too high. So what I liked, the reason why I thought this was a good ad was it was at the $39 mark is about where I entered. So I like that. And then um, 
what you see is you see really high bullish volume followed by uh, a, a bearish consolidation. And I would call it that because it's it's much lower bearish volume. So it doesn't really look like the bears have taken control. It just looks like the bulls are starting to take some profits. So I added back, uh, but unfortunately that brought my break even from down here to right here. And that was just too high. But honestly, it probably would have been shaken out either way by the way the price action went. But I don't mind the ad when you look at the volume. <clears throat> and then I, I got back in Twitter here. But Twitter, when it's extended, is a very scary trade. Because like I said, it can really collapse on you quickly. So, um, But I couldn't resist. I was about to call it a day. But um, after this hammer right here, and then if you look at the five minute chart, you see you're forming a really nice potential ABCD pattern. And you see this big ricochet off of uh, near VWAP <clears throat> and the 200 MA here. Or no, excuse me, just VWAP. And so right here, I'm like, oh, for sure it's going to take off. So I get in here with a half my normal share size. And I get one good partial, and then it collapses on me. And then the big move happens. But it was extended you don't want to play with twitter and then you can see once the pattern collapses and i think a lot of people thought it was going to go to 40 um, but once it collapses it can collapse really hard and really quickly uh, so you know i made a little bit more money but really this wasn't worth the risk for return um all right guys well that was my day and uh hopefully i can finish up the week week strong tomorrow